Hi everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul and today is Friday. We actually weren't going to post a video today, but um, we just got a little present from OCZ and we wanted to share it with everyone. This is OCZ's new IBIS SSD and it is a very unique SSD and it's very exciting as well. Um, so we just wanted to share it with you. I'm just going to do an unboxing today, give you sort of an overview and read up on some of the features that OCZ has given us. Uh, next week, we're actually going to take this and do a more in-depth review on it. We're going to plug it in, see how fast it is, do some benchmarks. So, that being said, this is the IBIS. We actually have a 240 gig version here. Alright, so what's unique about this drive is not just the drive itself, but also the interface. Um, and let me just read you this paragraph here, because it, it, it's, it's a good explanation of what OCC has done. What they're saying about HSDL, which is High Speed Data Link, they say, Unsatisfied with current interface options, OCZ developed High Speed Data Link, or HSDL, to eliminate the existing input-output bottlenecks and take SSD technology to new heights. HSDL is capable of running up to 20 gigabits per second of data bandwidth per channel, far surpassing the speed of existing storage interfaces. And then they're actually giving you a little chart here showing you SATA, uh, fiber connection, SAS, and then HSDL, which is the much taller blue line indicating how much faster it is. Um, so what they're actually giving you in the box here is a single channel adapter. It's a card that plugs into a PCI Express slot which and a special cable, the HSDA cable, which is a proprietary cable that they've developed, which will plug into your drive. The drive itself is a 3.5 inch drive, which is uh, the standard size drive that you normally see mechanical drives made in, not the 2.5 inch drive, in, drive that most SSDs would be. Um, and it is also powered by Sandforce uh, SSD controllers, which are very fast, very good SSD controllers. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Inside, you have a little bit of documentation about the drive. You get a fantastic little sticker that says, My SSD is faster than your SSD. I recommend you use this if you actually pick up one of these drives. That is, if the benchmarks are living up to the expectations. Alright, so first of all, in the box, you have your PCI Express adapter card. Let me just get that out of the packaging, which uh, isn't too much to look at. It's your fairly basic PCI Express form factor card, plugs into a slot. Uh, I'm not sure at this point whether you actually need a faster than a single speed PCI Express slot for that, but we'll find that out and we'll let you know. Right here is your plug for your high speed data link connection. So you plug that into your motherboard, plug that cable in there, and here's a look at the cable. I don't know if we can get a close-up on the plugs there. Made by Foxconn. And then here is the SSD itself. All right. So there is your IBIS drive. And uh, it has a nice black brush metal finish. It's 3.5 inch, which again is a uh, you just don't really see a lot of SSDs at the 3.5 inch form factor. There's a look. At the back you have a standard SATA power connector and then you have your high speed data link plug right there. These plugs look like they are fairly well designed. They have a little catch there with a the release uh, which is always nice, especially if you're used to old school Molex connectors. Plugs in easily, unplugs. And uh, that's about it as far as the physical hardware goes. Not a whole lot to show you right now until we actually plug this in and benchmark it. We'll hopefully have something like that up for you next week. Uh, but moving on, I uh, just wanted to go over a little bit of the documentation that OCZ has provided for us. First of all, as far as capacities go, it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different capacities. There's 100 gigs, 160 gigs, the 240 gig model that we have here. They're also going to be coming out with 360 gigs, 480 gigs, 720 gigs, and 960. So uh, it looks like with this form factor, they're finally going to get SSDs start to push up against the uh, speed and uh, the capacity that you're seeing from a lot of mechanical drives these days. Moving on to page two. All right, they have two uh, they have two sections here. One is for the 100 to 160 gig category, which is uh, slightly slower than the 240 and up gig capacity. Um, for max reads, they are stating that you have up to 740 megabytes per second. Max writes is 720 megabytes per second. That is for sequential. For sustained writes, up to 600 megabytes per second. Uh, again, these uh, numbers that I'm reading are for the 240 gig model and higher. 
Um, for input output operations per second is 100,000 for the 100 to 160 gig and 120,000 for the 240 to 960. Uh, to put that in perspective, what we're seeing with the fastest single drive SSDs right now is right around 50,000 input output operations per second, which is pretty absurd if these numbers are correct. And again, we'll come back to you next week with some actual benchmarks. Uh, usable capacities, these use multi-level cell memory. They are not SLC, uh, which is good because MLC memory is a little bit cheaper um, on the manufacturing side. Interface is high-speed data link, their proprietary uh, connecting connection. Form factor 3.5 inch. It's stating here that there are four Sandforce controllers in this drive, and um, I'm, I'm actually sort of up in the air about that. We're going to get some more information for you guys, but um, they are configured in RAID 0. So you have a RAID 0 setup within that drive, and given the fact that they're listing four controllers, I'm guessing they might have a unique RAID 0 configuration in there. Uh, just some other information such as dimensions, weight, power consumption, operating temperature, storage temperature, uh, 2 million hours of life is what they're rating it for. It is, uh, it will work with Windows XP 32 and 64 bit, Windows Vista 32 and 64 bit, and Windows 7 32 and 64 bit. Only power requirements, as you saw, is a standard SATA power connector. Uh, it has onboard RAID 0 for performance, uh, bundled with the adapter card. And that is about it for this information that they've given me so far. So there you go, guys. That is your first look at the IBIS SSD made by OCZ. Uh, it's very exciting to see them actually go a little bit beyond even the standard SATA connections that we're using right now to try to get maximum performance. Definitely enthousi an enthusiast drive, but we're going to come back at you next week. We're going to plug this into our test bed, actually get some benchmarks for you and see what sort of experience we get. So thanks for watching today's video, guys, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.